us live now, Katie Jensen, Director of Access and Outreach. We are talking about a really neat program, mental health program in a school setting. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about what Hortonville is doing. Hortonville has a program called E3, mm -hmm. which is Engage, Educate, and Empower. Mm -hmm. And this particular program is a school-based mental health pro uh, program that involves not only mental health therapy, but also preventative services such as wellness screening, education, and support for families of the kids at Hortonville Area School District. Taking place right in the school, how yep. did you develop something like this? Um, really, it came about as Hortonville Area School District really wanted to do something to support um, their students um, on more on the focus of mental health and uh, wellness. Mm -hmm. And so they turned to the partners in the community that are already doing similar things. Mm -hmm. And so it was really a collaborative partnership between Catalpa Health, Family mm -hmm. Services, Samaritan Counseling, um, United Way, as well as NAMI Fox Valley and of course partnering up with Hortonville Area School Districts. So. How important is it to have something like this in a school type of setting? We hear so much more about mental illness, especially starting at a younger age. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's where the kids are at. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, it's, it's really difficult for families to engage their kids in services sometimes mm -hmm. because it requires them to be pulled out of school, which then right. causes more problems. Right. Um, so the goal is to try to decrease absences from school mm -hmm. as well as increase um, the goal of intervention and giving them supportive services. What kind of response yeah. have you heard from parents or even the students taking part? Mm -hmm. Actually, very positive mm -hmm. response. This program hasn't even been going on for a full year mm -hmm. and um, the parents are saying great things about the supportive services. They like how the word out mm -hmm. the students are embracing it. it it appears that very quickly stigma is being reduced in the school and it's just being talked about more openly absolutely wonderful mm -hmm. you are also a, a program that a lot of other schools are watching getting information from your you're sort of this pilot program they're taking inspiration talk a little bit about that well it has been really interesting because we have gotten calls from other areas school districts that are curious mm -hmm. about how do we make this program work what does it entail and starting to question whether they might want to bring something like that into their own schools if somebody is watching who, who thinks they may have some kind of a problem or, or, or those feelings what do you suggest they do um, honestly, all you have to do is call the E3 direct mm -hmm. scheduling line. You can ask questions um, or even just to schedule your child for a counseling appointment. Mm -hmm. um, you can talk to a school counselor at that particular school and they have lots of information that they themselves can provide. Just to, to get the, the conversation going. Absolutely. As long as we start doing that, we're yep. on the right path. That's right. All right, wonderful. Thanks so much for being Thank with you. us. For more information about the E3 mental health program, just visit our website, NBC26.com, and click on this story.